I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. I'm knitting another pair of Founders Day socks and I'd like to show you how to work the one over one right purl cables and the one over one left purl cables that are used in the pattern without a cable needle. There's certainly nothing wrong with using a cable needle, but when you're only crossing one stitch over another, it can be quicker and easier to rearrange the stitch order without any extra tools. And that's all the cabling really is, just knitting your stitches, or in our case, knitting one stitch and purling the other in a different order than they originally appeared on your needles. Let's get started. Whenever I make a right cable without a cable needle, I like to slip the stitches I'm reordering to the right hand needle. Since we're crossing one stitch over one other, I'll begin by slipping those two stitches purl wise to my right hand needle. Next, we'll reorder those two stitches. For both the one over one right purl cable and the left purl cable, the second stitch from the needle tip passes behind the stitch that's closest to the needle tip. So I'm going to keep my left hand needle at the back and insert it into that second stitch. Pull the right hand needle completely out of both stitches and reinsert it through the loose stitch at the front. Whichever stitch is the dangling stitch is the one that's going to be knit. The other stitch will be purled. But before I can knit that stitch, I need to slip it from the right needle back to the left needle. So that will be the stitch we knit. I'll purl the next stitch. and our cable is complete. Whenever I make a left cable without a cable needle, the stitches I'm reordering stay on the left hand needle. So we're gonna be crossing one stitch over the other, so we'll just focus on these first two stitches. Next, we can reorder the stitches, and for both the one over one right purl cable and the left purl cable, the second stitch from the needle tip passes behind the stitch that's closest to the needle tip. So I'm gonna keep this right hand needle at the back and insert it just through that second stitch. Pull the left hand needle completely out of both stitches and then reinsert it through that loose dangling stitch at the front. And again, that loose dangling stitch for either the right or left version of this cable is the one that's going to be knit and the other stitch will be purled. Before I can purl that stitch, I need to slip it back to the left needle and then I can purl the stitch. So I'll purl the first stitch and knit the second stitch and my cable is complete. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create both a one over one right purl cable and a one over one left purl cable without a cable needle. If you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechilidog.com and look for the Founders Day socks. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!